sounds about right. <laughs> now if I change the buzzer, now it says for one second, stop sound, and then uh, delay for one sec, one thousand. And I'm, gonna, I'm gonna basically just gonna make it so it just beeps a couple times and stops. Okay, I think I got the tone I'm looking for. Um, just playing around with uh, C, D, D, and E, F, G, and all that for different tones. And if I go C, C, D, uh, 261, 277, and 311, I get this. If I unplug it, I've already flashed it. That's basically what I want, but louder as soon as you turn the bike on. But I can change it whatever I want. And uh, maybe even if I can somehow figure out how to turn it up a bit. And figure it out. And we're still working on it. Learning as I go along. Well, this is about as far as I got with the tone generator. I'm actually using this uh, code that uh, 80 fruit buzzer and its uses too. I basically just uh, modified the tones to what I wanted which is this. Problem is, is it's not very loud. Um, actually, this one's, this one's even uh, fainter than the, the one that's on there. Um, I had this uh, five volt amplifier from Drock, D-R-O-K. And uh, this probably would have worked great for just amplifying the, uh, the tone loud enough where you could hear it when you turn the bike on. Problem is, it's red. It gets like super hot. It actually um, puts a huge drain on the laptop when I turn it on. So that's out. I mean, I can order another one. But basically, what I'm looking for, I'm just looking for a small amplifier that I can use. And then I started looking at, uh, I have one of these floating around Google Home Minis. <laughs> Now that's got a speaker in it, and it's got an amplifier in it. I wonder if I could make room and shove that in it. And then just, I don't know, paint it black. <laughs> there you go, hang that on the bike. <laughs> we'll see. I'm going to pull it apart and see what I can do with it. But this this is a dead end here, trying to use this, unfortunately. I remember I... Um, I had this on a, a DC to DC uh, buck booster, and I kind of gave it more than five volts. And when I went on their website, they said anything over five volts will kill it, and uh, it did. So it's too bad because it's uh, it's a nice amp. You should try them out. It's a five volt amp, but it puts out a lot of watts for such a small amp. It's digital, I think. And I was a while ago when I bought it. Anyway. Um, yeah, so I think we're going to pull that apart and see exactly how that uh, how it functions. Well, I managed to get the speaker out of the home mini. And um, this is what it sounds like. It's louder. It's not bad. Um, I'm going to see if I can actually... Uh, try and find the amplifier inside the home mini itself and use that as an amplifier uh, or bypass the um, it might be all digital it might, be all, it might not be able to do anything with it but this is definitely better than what I had working on it hey guys okay so uh, it's been a couple of days well a day or two um, this <laughs> laptop that I was doing the coding on died again done with it um, so I ended up trying out these small uh, piezo tweeters not loud enough uh, for some odd reason this one this one here was louder than the other not too sure why um, I pulled apart a Google mini pulled the speaker out of it and tried that it was louder but it's big and bulky and still not as loud as I wanted uh, so I pretty much gave up on that um, you know for all the trouble I had to go through of programming the Adreno, and then I had to compile it with the code for the Speedo and everything else. There's not going to be much memory left, and it's not going to be very loud for you to really hear it anyway. Um, 
what I ended up doing is I ended up hacking one of these uh, volt meters for um, RC uh, for measuring uh, the volts on the uh, batteries. Anyway, um, I had one with a bad display, so I pulled the display off, and all I did was I left the speakers on it. And uh, as you can see, I've been monkeying with them for a while. I um, I left the speakers on it, and uh, um, basically what I did is I went and soldered it up on the regulator inside the um, in the side of the box here that goes to the adrenal. And uh, basically, when the five volt goes in and it goes to the regulator and then three volts out, uh, basically tapped into that, and uh, it's inside there. And when you turn it on. You get the double beep. It's like super loud. You're going to hear that no matter what, even if it's windy out. But uh, it does work. Every time you power it up, it beeps. So that's basically what I wanted. And it's nice and loud. You can hear it right through the box. So even potted, it's going to be pretty good. So that's it. I got my double beep. So when you turn the bike on, it lets me know that it's powered up. Um, if there's any issues with the voltage going into the um, Arduino, it, uh, it will uh, start beeping madly. But uh, other than that, it, uh, it is working. So I can install that and set it out of the way. And uh, we'll lay this to rest. Like, this is fun for playing around with, but uh, it's not very loud. Like, I even got to play tunes until the, uh, until the laptop died. As you can see, it'll just keep cycling. It's the graphics chip. Anyway, that's it, guys. Uh, later.